Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. Good morning, good morning. Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday. I have a very exciting treat today. Corey found cold brew coffee with boba. I saw this on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. So we saw this all over TikTok. Not all over, I think I saw one. I saw a tick. You saw a tick? And a talk. And a talk. So on TikTok, I saw someone trying this and it looks really good. I love a boba, I love ice cream, I love coffee ice cream. So I'm very excited and to try that. it's dairy free, I think. Okay, now I'm not as excited. <laughs> dairy free ice cream always tastes like chalk. This is what it looks like. Looks like, oh, it looks like a comma. What's the thing called? A semicolon. Looks like a semicolon. Where's the balls? Or question mark. Corey, all he cares about is the balls. Cool, so all the TikToks that I saw, the only comments they say is, oh, it's so chewy. The balls are so chewy. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. All right, so I'm gonna try to, it feels like maybe we should let it chill for a second so that it like, he thaws. In the meantime, I'll eat a pickle because yesterday, pickles and ice cream. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I put cucumbers in an old pickle jar to see if it would turn into pickles. And what I read online is you only have to let it sit for 24 to 48 hours and it's been probably 30 hours, so. Let's see. They don't look like pickles. They still look like cucumbers to me. They smell like cucumbers too. They don't smell like a pickle. I need Let's see. A moment of truth. Here she is. Like a beauty guru does. It tastes like a pickle. Ew. But it's, it's very light. It's a very tame pickle. But is it, it tastes crunchy? Like, hard. It's very crunchy. I did not think it would taste like a pickle within 24 hours. I mean, it still kind of tastes like cucumber, but it's like kind of nice. It's like a refreshing pickle. Yeah. I feel like you would like it because it's not too pickly. Ugh, here you go, me one. It's like got a, a hint of pickle. Corey hates pickles. It's like a hint of pickle, but oh no, he hates it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That is a pickle. It worked. <laughs> it worked, but I feel like I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more days and it's gonna be super pickly and then I'll love it. I'm gonna try to get in here. Oh, this is my pickle spoon. Ew. Wait, I didn't even get any boba. Look, there's uh, no where's boba. Where's all the balls? Are they on the bottom? I don't know, but I'm gonna find a ball because there's no point if there's no ball. Is that a ball? That's a ball. Okay, there's a ball. Oh, there's another ball in there. There's a ball. Okay. Oh, I see balls. Oh, there's a ball. Should we get multiple balls? I want one more ball. Not gonna lie, it looks chalky, not creamy. Well, it's vegan. Okay, here we go. Mm. Chewy. I love the coffee flavor. It's very coffee-ish. The boba's nice. It is a very chewy boba, but the consistency of the ice cream is chalky to me. I don't taste chalky. It tastes like a little bit of burnt flavor. Mm, mm hmm You know what I mean? It's not like creamy. It's like... Well, because there's no milk. Mm hmm It's good though. It is really good, but it would be better if I didn't if tell it was you. Dairy. If I didn't tell you it was dairy free, would you know? I still, I would love the flavor. But would you know it was dairy free? I think I would because I, I know my ice cream, and I know I've never had a vegan chocolate ice cream that was creamy. Comes up like like in chunky. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, we should have showed them a ball. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys a ball. These are a couple balls. See, there's the balls in there. Sorry, I'm very shaky. I'm so shaky. My dad's like that too. I wonder what that means. Right. I'm shaky too, and everybody comments. Are you shaky? Are you shaky. nervous? And I'm like, I know. Honestly, I'm You're new to this. Everybody knows I'm shaky. Me too. I like it. It is really good. The flavors are really nice. I do wish the ice cream was creamier. And I feel like it'd be even better if it had like the chewy balls and crunchy chocolate chips. Like I want a crunch It needs too. chocolate. Yeah, it needs chocolate, but it's very delish. It's good. I'd say eight out of 10. Yeah, eight out of 10 is a mm -hmm. very good number. Could be better, but it is very good. So if you're vegan, give it a try. Oh. Well, you can't have the balls because it's gelatin. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it says vegan. Oh, wow, cool. Vegan. So if you're vegan, you might enjoy. Flynn and I are on the couch bed in the podcast room. We're playing with trucks. Oh, hi, what do you do? My bucket. What's in your bucket? Oh, it's a tow truck. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. Hi. What are you doing? Are you petting me? Look at my bucket. That's so cool. What is that? A tow truck. A tow truck? I love tow trucks. 
you guys have any trash? Thank you, yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Oh, no, Miss more. You have more trash? Yeah. All right. Put it in there. Thank you. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more? Oh, thanks. Dump it in here. Mmm, thank you so much. All right, love you. We should have a dance party. Yeah. Ready? I want to do the dumbest truck. Miranda cement truck song? Which one? I want to do the dumbest truck song. You want the Miranda cement truck song? talks a lot when we drive and it just makes Eric and I, we just sit in the front and laugh. <laughs> no, a tow truck. Yeah, tow truck. Okay. The clean truck. What else you got in there? What else you got in there? I think it's a also... bike. We'll go there. What? I found it. You found what? I found the clouds. You found the clouds? Yeah, I found the clouds. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting in the car. What are you doing? No, you're sitting in the car. Yeah, you're just sitting in the car? Yeah. Okay. I'm just sitting in the car. Yes, yep. I am. Yep, we're all sitting in the car. Wow! <laughs> Mr. Denny's shirt? I saw it. That's a monster truck over there. Where? A deep monster truck. You saw a monster truck? That's amazing. I found it. You found it? I go up the car mountain. We gonna go up the mountain? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Up, up, up. Oh. Yeah. This way? Yeah, sure. Which way do you wanna go? That. Should we go, go up, for the, it. up to the woods? Oh, this way. Okay, yeah. let's go. Oh, balance beam. Look right here. It's so pretty, Flo. What's down there? What do you see? What's down there, Flynn? It's huge. Yeah. I'll go down there. Yeah, we have to go this you. way. This way. Oh, Flynn, look over there. There's a big tunnel. See it? I'll go see it. What do you see? That's the shoulder. What's over there? Big tunnel over there. Oh, it's quite the big tunnel. Come on. Oh, wait. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, big dirt. It's a lot of big dirt. It's a lot of big dirt. Where's the big tunnel, Flynn? So there. Holy smokes. So we're going in. Okay. There's a big tunnel over there. That is a big tunnel over there. Now. Go. Go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That was crazy, Flynn. Yeah. Was that a hawk holding a yes. rat? Inside of this tunnel, as Flynn calls it, like this huge tree, there's a huge hawk literally carrying a dead rat. I don't know if I caught it on camera. I don't think I did, but. Yeah, did, you didn't? I don't Mama, think so. Yeah. Dead, the inside. Yeah. Oh, Flynn. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's a 
amazing. Yeah? We'll get it in there. Go ahead. We'll see. Right here. Yeah. Did I pull my dish out? Did my cow? Okay, I'm coming. Good job. Hey, right here. Oh, gosh. Whoa, look at you, Flynn. Slippery, huh? Slippery. <laughs> You're a little hiker. Hiker. Look at you. Look at you. some honey garlic chicken wings, some regular barbecue chicken wings. I just put the barbecue sauce on, so that's why it looks kind of weird. Rosemary fries and a goat cheese fruity salad-y thingy. So, yum, sounds really good, I'm very hungry. Oh my God. <sighs> we made that dinner and it looked delicious and it tasted delicious, but shortly after eating it, I was like, I feel ill and then I got ill and was in the bathroom for basically the whole night and now it's midnight. Um, so TMI don't care. Is my button on it? No. TMI don't care. Oh, so we took Flynn to the park and while we were at the park, the person who delivered our groceries, like the, the grocery delivery service we use, they had called and they were like, hey, should we just leave the groceries on the front doorstep? And we we're like, oh yeah, sure. And so we got home maybe 15, 20 minutes later and the groceries were on the doorstep and everything looked fine in the groceries. I noticed none of the like cold stuff, like the produce and stuff that typically is like refrigerated felt cold, like it all felt like room temperature, which included the chicken we ate. I know that sometimes these delivery services, they do grocery shopping for a lot of different people and then deliver all the different groceries everywhere. So I don't know how long that chicken was like in the cart at the grocery store and then in the delivery person's car, how hot the person's car was and all of that. I know that I ordered the groceries at like two in the afternoon and we picked them up off the doorstep at like 6 p.m. Maybe the chicken had just been left out too long or something, but Eric and I both felt sick. Yeah, it was basically just, I still feel pretty nauseous. Not that anyone asked, but. <laughs> That's been my night, so. Also, I just watched the newest episode of that Woody Allen, Allen versus Pharaoh documentary uh, series on HBO. That is hard to watch. Wow, he's horrible. And I know that some people go like, well, there's two sides to every story, but I'm on the side of like, believe children and believe victims, like over believing a rich, um, man, I don't want to get into it because I don't want people to come for me, but like I, I believe victims, especially when there's like proof. And so it's really hard to watch because I feel like victims um, are heard and are very rarely, there's very rarely any justice for victims of those types of cases. That's why a lot of people don't come forward and don't say anything because there's no justice. So it's hard to watch, it's very sad and frustrating. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> and if I go to bed, I mean I'm gonna lay in my bed and not sleep, because that's what I do these days. But I did, I was supposed to film all this stuff tonight and I was just in the bathroom the whole time. Wow, I'm all over the place right now. I feel like none of this is interesting. Um, it's just me talking about my poop and then a really devastatingly sad docu-series. Like Eric's not down here because he couldn't watch it. He's like, I can't, I can't watch this. It's too upsetting. Like he can't watch that. So it's bad. I mean, it's good. I'm glad her story is being told and like all that, but like, so it's important, but it's like, it's hard to sit through because it's infuriating. Anyway, I love you guys and yep, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.